All right, so check it out. We have 32 of our Xfinity 400 amp hour batteries. These are six volts, 400 amp hours. So we have a total of four banks, which would give us a total of 48 volts at 1600 amp hours. So that's a pretty decent sized battery. We'll be using a lot of air conditioners and the system is also grid interactive so it will switch to JPS only if necessary but uh, there is a huge amount of storage here so you really it would really have to be like a, a day that's not very sunny that would cause you to actually switch or if we're using a lot of air conditioners because we do have a lot of ACs here This is what the house is using right now. Uh, we've got four ACs on, along with everything else in the house. And we're pulling about 10,000 watts, 10.5 kilowatts at the moment. That's what the house is using at the moment. Looks like we have some cloud cover. It's kind of overcast outside, so the, the reading will fluctuate. This is how, how many watts the solar system is generating at the time. So right now we're using about 10.5 kilowatts, but we're only generating about 4.5 kilowatts. So that's a six kilowatt difference. As you can see, it looks like the cloud, the sun came back out and we just jumped. So this is going to fluctuate due to the weather today. Sometimes this number will go as high as 13,000 watts whenever the weather is clear and sunny and bright. So now that our connections are completed, what we're going to do now is we're going to enclose the entire battery bank. And that's for safety reasons. It also looks better but uh, that prevents in case anyone comes in here with something metallic you will not be able to short circuit the whole thing and cause a huge fire <laughs> so we'll just enclose it and, and uh, basically cover all of this right here 